Hello again, everybody. Todd Michael Putnam from D&D Creative Table Designs bringing you another adventure table idea. Uh, this one is the Necromancer Vampire. The Necromancer Vampire. So in this particular adventure here, uh, obviously it takes place all underground. Uh, the townsfolk up above uh, have grown just uneasy about the graveyard. Um, there's strange sounds coming out of it. Um, and people just, uh, even though they haven't seen anything specific, people just have this queasy, uneasy, uneasy feeling when they go to visit their relatives uh, in the graveyard. And, and some have just stopped altogether because they just, they, they, they just have this horrible feeling that something is going wrong. And and of course, for the longest time, the, the mayor and stuff was just like, no, you're, you know, it's, you're, it's your imagination. You people are letting your imagination run away with you. But it, it became such to the point that people started refusing to actually bring their, their dead to the graveyard to be buried. And it started causing a problem. So, of course, a reward is placed out uh, for, for adventurers to go uh, into the, the mausoleum and, and check out the graveyard itself and verify that everything as it, as, as it is. And one of the mausoleums above ground uh, turns out that it has a, a secret door underneath that that drops it down into a basement uh, and it comes down into a small little basement area and then it circles down again here and here's where some of the um, the more esteemed uh, dead are buried people uh, have uh, wealthier you know merchants or uh, low royalty things like that uh, or get buried in this area uh, get interred in their own little separate places um, and there are skeletons there Someone has resurrected some of the bodies, or not resurrected, reanimated some of the bodies as skeletons. So you can see where they had normally been up against the walls and whatnot, uh, uh, you know, interred in such a, a way. But some of them have been reanimated and given weapons. And so the, uh, the party will have to actually fight their way through and, and destroy the skeletons. And there's this constant rushing sound. Well, across the way, there is an actual waterfall uh, with a bridge going across it. And there is some kind of a giant zombie type thing with one arm ripped off already. And he goes around and uh, he seems to be guarding the bridge. And of course, he attempts to literally beat the party to death with his own arm. Uh, and, and the uh, players, of course, they have to worry that would make sure they don't fall off into the water below or, or miss and, and hit literally the solid ground below. Uh, once they make it past him... Um, there's some little roundabouts to bring it down, some more stairs going down, and once they get to this open doorway here, it opens up into a large natural cavern. And in this area, when they come out, they see the most horrific sight. They see all these uh, coffins uh, that have been dug from underneath the graveyard. Someone has dug up into underneath the graves and pulled the actual uh, coffins out from 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 above them into this uh, cavernous area below and opened up the coffins and there are all these zombies that are going around and there seem to be a couple of uh, humanoid type beings that are here worshiping at some kind of a strange altar performing rites with this glowing skull there's pits of all these bones and whatnot uh, and and bodies of all different levels of decay are there and many many animated zombies walking around so apparently instead of starting from the top and oh, digging up the graves where everyone could see that it was going on they dug from underneath up so that nobody would actually see the graves had been disturbed but of course because they're only so far below the surface people get that creepy eerie feeling that uh, that just something is not right and sometimes the moaning sound of all these undead would work its way up through the, the, the ground and uh, and people could hear it, especially at night when everything else is so quiet. So obviously somebody has been grave robbing and performing necromancy from underneath the earth in the town. And so that, so, so there was justification for why people had this creepy feeling. Uh, and so the players, of course, have to, to deal with that. Worse uh, than just the zombies, though, they see that there are these, uh, that turns out to be uh, vampire... Um, Spawnling kind of guys, vampire spawns, uh, seem to be working and uh, working the magic, or at least uh, assisting with the process of um, reanimating these these creatures. So they, they must destroy all of these undead, both the zombies and uh, and the uh, the vampire spawn. Uh, if they work their way across, they can see if they come across the river itself. If they decide to cross it, they'll come through here. They'll see that there's actually a corpse golem that's walking around 
where all of the dead that weren't, um, their bodies weren't in good enough condition to raise into a single being. They just kind of lumped them all together and created a corpse mound. Uh, and that corpse mound is basically a, a, a golem of corpses uh, that the uh, players will have to fight. So somebody clearly has been dealing with uh, with uh, necromancy and uh, and using these uh, chambers uh, below the, the these crypts below the, the cemetery to uh, to perform their rites. Uh, another small bridge with another vampire spawn and a couple of zombies that they have to get across. And then once they make it over to here, they come into like a main chamber. And there's a couple of things. First, there's a, you can see there's a, a number of tombs and stuff that have been opened up that they're getting ready to, to do more, more uh, experiments or more um, raising of the, uh, I should say animating of the dead. Uh, there's some kind of a wicked hag-like creature uh, some kind of a, a, a weird undead manifestation uh, that's there that, that comes out of this this crypt, the special crypt that's uh, in the center of the room. And then once that has been defeated, the doors open up here and the main vampire himself, the, the, the vampire who's running the whole show, who has taken up residence down here and is practicing his necromancy, uh, comes out of uh, his, his own sepulcher. He pulls out, he comes out of that and... Uh, he begins to uh, attack the party who has destroyed his plans. So uh, that's the basic idea for it behind the uh, the vampire necromancer is that it's um, some necromancy and grave robbing going uh, going on from the bottom side up uh, in these these uh, catacombs beneath the city and beneath the graveyard itself. Uh, the vast majority of this um, is, is all prefab stuff. These, uh, the walls in the back are Game of Thrones, the display walls that I, I've been used on a number of different things. And all I did, uh, they're normally obviously ice colored. I just had them repainted so that they would be like more of like a stone color. And that just gives kind of a little bit of a backdrop and helps you feel like you're below the earth somehow. Like you've, you know, in a giant, uh, in some kind of a giant uh, cavern type uh, situation. Of course, there's a lot of Dwarven Forge uh, classic tile set going on here. This is Dwarven Forge, the, uh, the original cavern sets. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's the original cavern sets, but it's the original cavern sets that were built in Dwarvenite. These are not resin. These are the actual Dwarvenite ones. So they've, they've got a number of different cavern uh, type sets. This is, this is the, the first one they used that was Dwarvenite. Um, and not much after that. Uh, like this right here is just a 3D print job. This here, I, uh, I, this one comes from WizKids, come to think of it. They've got a great graveyard set. Um, and I, I highly recommend picking it up. If you're going to do any kind of things with tombs or necromancers or anything like that, it's got a bunch of these things in it, a bunch of graves um, and uh, statues and stuff. It's the WizKids Graveyard Set. I'm not sure what the official name for it is, but it's fantastic. Um, and uh, I, I really enjoy using that. It works great. Um, these little uh, uh, gargoyles here, gargoyle statues, uh, I believe are from Dwarven Forge. They come from Dwarven Forge. These, I got a number of these right here. These are just 3D prints that I got off of eBay and, of course, I'd paint it up. Um, these wooden bridges I literally just got from some toy kid set or whatever it was and then just had them painted up so they looked uh, a little bit better. And the river, of course, is from Pegasus Hobbies. Um, I've used that for a while now and it's, uh, unfortunately, there aren't that many river options on the market and this is uh, one of the better ones. What it doesn't have, I wish it had, what it doesn't have is any kind of a Y factor. Um, so you can you can split off in, into two separate rivers at some point. It's always just going to be one solid stream, and, and obviously the way that it's designed, you can't make it any wider. That's that's going to be the width the width of the river. Period. So, um, but that being said, it's still one of the better ones that's on the market. Uh, this waterfall is not a part of that set. Uh, it's just um, a three D print that I got online, and I just thought of, by putting that on there, what that does is the waterfall makes a lot of noise. And it allows a certain amount of believability that the players can engage into combat and, you know, spells ringing out and blades striking in metal or striking the bodies of undead and vice versa. And, you know, players screaming out in pain. The, the sound of the waterfall, that din, would help uh, lessen some of that so that, like, the combat over here might not be heard over in this section over here. And, the, and that just uh, provides a, you know, a, a, an auditory reason why all of the undead in the entire place just don't come rushing to the front door as soon as they realize that somebody's attacking. And that's because they're either hidden behind the walls and or the sound of the waterfalls 
uh, helps uh, uh, cover or muffle uh, the sound of any combat that's actually going on. Not to mention, of course, these guys are enchanting away and, and uh, casting their, their magics to try and re uh, bring the, uh, the, the dead to, uh, to an animated status to serve their vampire overlord. Uh, and, and then uh, last but not least is um, I, I just took some of the cavern sets and put them around here on the outside underneath this because you can see there's multiple levels to this underneath this what it is actually i can just pull it from here i just i use these it's it's basically just xps foam and it's eight by four by two inches tall and spray painted a little bit light gray just so anything that peeks through doesn't 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 look too you know doesn't stand out too much like little corners like this um even with this piece in there there's certain parts of the corner that are going to stand out. If I left it white, obviously, then it's going to stand out really bad. So I just lightly spray painted them gray. And by using those, you can get yourself some wonderful elevation. Pretty darn cheap. I mean, I think it's only like 22 bucks for a, for a pack of those. Um, and one, this is one pack that I'm using to create all of this elevation. I don't remember how many it actually is, but it's, it's enough to do, what, one, two, three four, five, six levels worth of, of elevation uh, on this on this table. So just ordered that from Amazon and uh, spray painted it up. And that uh, that's what does it. That's what uh, makes this, this particular setting. Oh, sorry. This piece right here, I want to say this comes from Dwarven Forge. Uh, their original catacomb set, which is, which is resin, I believe. Uh, it's, not, it's not Dwarvenite. And last but not least, uh, I did use a bunch of stairs from their uh, their elevation sets. So that's it. That's what makes up this particular adventure of the Vampire Necromancer. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And I appreciate you taking the time to leave any comments and let me know what you think. I will see you again next adventure. Take care.